Well, hey guys, Aaron Walker. Man, I hope you're having a great day. Normally, I don't even post this time of day, and quite honestly, don't tell anybody. I'm getting my boat ready. I'm about to go out on the lake for a couple hours and just kind of unwind and rest. I don't normally work on Fridays, and so I thought I'd get the boat out for the first time. And But I keep getting texts and Facebook messages and emails and phone calls from a post I did a couple of days ago. And I want to talk to you about that. It was the one I did about getting stuck. And man, I didn't realize the degree of people that are stuck and they can't get up. It's like that commercial, you know, I've fallen and I can't get up. And I want to talk to you just for a second and give you a little bit of permission maybe to, uh, to be stuck, but then maybe some ways that you can work your way out of it. A guy named Kyle Lugnot called me yesterday from New York and he said, Big A, if you've got just a minute, I want to give you an interesting observation. And I said, man, I'm always open for observations. He said, I read your book, thoroughly enjoyed it. He said, one of the things that you did when you were young is he said, you took action on what presented itself and you didn't seem to go through this litany of opportunities like, do I do this? Do I do that? And he pointed out something that was very, very interesting to me. You know, when I was 18 years old, we didn't even have the internet. So he said, you had limited options. And today, a lot of people are stuck because we have so many options, which told me that we have the FOMO, fear of missing out. Like, what if I pick this? Or what if I pick that? Or what if it's not the right thing? Or what if I could make more money on doing this? versus that. And quite honestly, I didn't have that many opportunities when I was young. I just enjoy business. I saw an opportunity and I went out and I wanted to be the best that I could be. But I understand completely uh, fear of missing out today because there are so many opportunities. One of the things that has really helped me in my decision making process is getting around other people. Another mastermind member called me yesterday and he said, Big A, if you've got 10 minutes, I need to talk through something. He said, I feel real anxious. He said, I got this job opportunity and it's not exactly what I want, but I felt a sense of anxiety. Well, see, he's smart because what he did was he called somebody else. He could have called any numbers of people in the mastermind group. We just happened to have a close relationship. So he called me and he said, let's talk through it. Well, he felt much better after a 30 minute phone conversation because we only have the one filter, the one lens. We get anxious, we get afraid. We're afraid that, and we talk ourselves into something bad happening. We always resort back to the familiarity and it keeps us stuck. But when we get around people that can encourage us and give us other input, that's the reason I promote the community all the time so much. That's why I'm a huge advocate of mastermind groups is because it gives you a different perspective. If you think back six months ago, you were probably concerned about something that really never even materialized. It, there wasn't even really a problem. Only about 5% of what we worry about happens anyway. Well, I wanna encourage you today to lessen your choices. Just make a decision on maybe three things. And you don't have to do it forever. It's not etched in stone. You don't have to say this is what the decision's gonna be and it's gonna be forever. It's a lot easier to navigate the ship once you get it out of the dock, right? That little rudder steers it once it's in open water. What's hard is getting it out of the dock, right? It takes so much energy and effort. But don't think I'm one and done. Don't think if I make this choice, I can never change. I've had 12 businesses now, a lot of them very, very different from things that I've been in before. One reason is, is because I enjoy business and I'm not afraid. If it doesn't work out right, well, okay, hey, I tried, okay, so it didn't work. Pivot, change, do something else. But you're afraid that it's gonna fail, and if it fails, what are people gonna say? Are they gonna look at me differently? Are they gonna talk about me? Listen, lean in, listen. No, they're not gonna talk about you, I promise. And you're allowing that fear to keep you in a place that you're not gonna experience the life that you want. Shift your mindset. Go out there and go for it. If it doesn't work, that's okay. I'm giving you permission to make a mistake. I'm giving you permission for it not to work out the way you want. I couldn't lay in bed at night and think, would it have worked? 
I've got to know. See, for me, failure is in not trying, not in not succeeding. And I want to encourage you today to stop being afraid. Pull the trigger. Do something. Try something. Do it methodically. The other thing, and I'll quit talking because I want to go to the lake here in just a second. But the other thing is don't think you have to do it all at one time, right? If you're in a spot that you don't enjoy, transition slowly. Get accountability. Get people around you that can help you incrementally implement a process and a system and a plan that you can work your way out of where you're at. It took you a long time to get in the spot that you're in, and you're not going to get out of it in 30 days, 60, or even six months, maybe. It's a process. Heard an old saying one time, you had a giant oak tree in your backyard. You couldn't go out there one day with an axe and chop it down. But if you hit that thing five times every day consistently, a couple of weeks, you're going to chop that tree down. It's the same way in our work. Listen to me today, okay? Because I don't have any motivation to tell you this other than it's the truth. Stop being afraid. Go out there today and try something new. Be adventuresome. Don't bet the farm. Don't roll the dice. Put it all on red. But it's okay to be a little bit adventuresome. Go out there today and do something that you've been putting off. Today is the day. Don't say, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it next week. Today. I want you to text me and say, Big A, today is the day I did it. Email me. Put a note on this. Say, today is the day. Hey, I'm going to hang it up, baby. I'm going to do it today. I got a message yesterday that was really sad to me. And quite honestly, I, these guys watch this all the time. Many of you do, and thank you for doing that. But this guy told me something that really upset me. And I thought about it yesterday, and I thought about it all night last night, and I thought about it this morning. And that's the reason I'm even doing this video. He said, quite honestly, I've been stuck my whole life. Well, that was sad to me. Listen, we don't have to be stuck our whole life. Get people around you. Get trusted advisors that's going to breathe life into you, that's going to encourage you, people that don't have anything to gain or lose as a result of what they tell you. Get it out of your own head, right? Tell other people, and I promise you, in a short period of time, you too will get unstuck. I'm Aaron Walker. Have a great weekend. We'll be seeing you around. Have a good day.